in the Pocket Watch Podcast. I'm Zach. <laughs> Chris. Jake. No guest. <laughs> period. Yo, that's on period. period. Like, no guest. Yo, we were, we were DJing this thing. Now, always tell us what you thought about that intro. <laughs> You can hire Zach to any birthday or uh, special events you yes. want. Uh, Pocket Watch Podcast. Thanks for listening another week. Like, subscribe, comment, follow, share. share. Tell your mom. Tell your Dad, mom's mom. Sister, brother, younger brother, baby. Who gives a damn? Yo, and shout out to you guys, man. Uh, yes, I, I. You know we didn't. We didn't make the announcement that we hit over three hundred subscribers on fucking YouTube. Bro. I know. Well, we're I did like, a prize. I did a little. Did you see me do the little? Yeah, prize? I know, but we didn't announce it on no, the podcast. We hit three hundred yeah. subs on YouTube, guys. and and we're ranked top ten percent of all podcasts by Spark Notes. No, listen, notes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been cheating in school. They're gonna they're gonna Damn. catch your ass. By listen notes, listen notes has this little podcast. It's like a third party <clears throat> podcast rater or whatever, and it ranked us top ten percent global. What's up, motherfucker? I feel like you just have to record twenty episodes and you're top ten percent global. But I'll take it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And then we got a twenty three listening ones. score. So now we got another KPI, brothers. So yeah. now 20, 23 out of a hundo. Yeah. So <laughs> <But> it's okay. <laughs> so monthly, we need to be past. So, so all I see right there though is that. We're top ten percent, and we're twenty third percent tile of that of, top. of that top ten percent. Yeah, because they said that's they, pretty dope. They said they only give a listen score to the top ten percent. So that means that we're like twenty five percent average of the top ten percent. I'll something. take that. I like hey, that. Small wins. <laughs> small wins. Yes, take sir. Small yep. wins when you can. Uh, but shout out to you guys. Uh, not just for that. I mean, that was kind of cool. We like shit like that. But shout out to you guys because. Uh, I was reflecting about how we started and shit yeah. the other day, and I was like, "Man, it's so cool! Like, uh, like we built organically and good and slow, and and, and I like the way we built a, a nice little following." And thank you guys for listening weekly. I mean, yes, sometimes sir. it's rough, but like, hey, we get excited every time we see the views yeah. and the listens and the analytics and shit. Like, it gets us excited because we because we remember talking about twenty. Mm-hmm. And thirty, yeah, and, and it didn't move for a while, right? And then now it's it's, it's looking three hundred really next step five hundred subs, thirty yep. percent to the goal. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Tell everybody, tell have your daughter <laughs> or your son or your kid <laughs> sign up for it you, just you, for fun. You know, I, I was kind of doing uh, <laughs> to kind of add to that a little bit. I was doing some research, bro, about like um, you know, like monetization for Instagram, and then also. Um, like verification for Instagram stuff like that, mm-hmm. and I found out that if you buy followers, it fucks your monetization up. See, there so, you go. So I was looking on there because we're, we're on Instagram. We were able to we got monetized on Instagram. We just haven't gone viral enough to get paid. So y'all motherfuckers need to start sharing our shit. But anyways, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but no. But seriously though, um, when I was like reading through like the terms of that, I was like looking to like a lot of the stuff. I saw that like if you get like um like like certain activities. Well, red flag your account for stuff like that. And I saw one of the things on there was like if you have like a like a like an unorganic subscriber following, it will actually fucking it won't won't let you monetize your account. Really? I mean So that right there's something to know if you're trying to become like a there's influencer the or some shit. So don't, buy yeah. for, don't buy followers, right? That's what it means. There's the Well yeah, of course, obviously. Likes, but a lot of people followers, you know, all that shit. I mean there's the con to it right there. Yeah. And I guess it, it depends on what the people are trying to do on there. Like, yeah. if you're trying to be an influencer on social media. And make money off it, monetize You're it. fucking yourself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but be organic. I guess I can see where, like, you know, like the 9-4, you know. Yeah. We, we do they have. M- they might not make their money out, you know, in we, Instagram. We do have a, um, a a flag on our account, though, because you fucking copyrighted some shit. <laughs> Because of the... Uh, the ad, I think, or something like that. Like, the intro music or some shit you did to something. The uh, Eminem. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what it was. It was I was looking through our account, and it was, like, it was like flag from... I forgot what the date, May or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, what did we get a flag for? And I saw it was, like, a copyright claim. I'm like, this motherfucker flagging shout out, shout out to AD. I was back when I was making videos. That's why I don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Say that somebody else, bro. I'll get our shit flagged, dude. You know what's funny, though? Is like, as soon as, we, as soon as you started, like, outsourcing the video clips, everybody's like, bro, this shit's fire. Who's doing it? Like, t- yeah. what are you using for this? And it's like, I'm paying some fucking Indian guy. <laughs> if 15, I'm Fiverr. <laughs> $15, bro. Just try it. It's really easy. <laughs> You know how easy you go get breakfast in the morning? You get literally get a clip edited. There you go. It's it's insane. And it's embarrassing how good they are. You know, like 
Habibi knows what he When doing. I was really trying. Habibi. That's his name. <laughs> Me, Bibi. Habibi Ramchat. Who? Ramchat. <laughs> what the fuck? See, if I had this song, we had like one of those. Uh, I would be a racist now. Let's try. Nah, no, but nah, he's killing it though, honestly. That's not the one. No, that's not it. There he is. It's cricket. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, y'all made that a damn voice? Yeah, that's really crazy though. That's crazy. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much. Uh, it's fucking awesome. The show stinks. <laughs> I don't know why you listen. <laughs> no, no, no. no Honestly, we appreciate y'all listening. But speaking to what we were just talking about with the, uh, you know, shout out to us, shout out to you guys for giving us, being able to put us in the top 10%, even though we're average in that top 10%. See, everything's fucking relative. Look how that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to stop right there, all right? I don't put the I put the Indian music just because if I get Jacob started. Six minutes in. Yeah, let's uh let's come back to your saying, bro. That's the definition of derail. <laughs> you know how you're like, I was trying to have a conversation, I was trying to stay here, and then I just I feel like I got derailed for some reason. <laughs> the slippery, slippery slope. That, that wasn't the song I was looking for. I was looking for the <laughs> dang, 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 dang. That's what I was looking for, but I forgot the name of it. I don't fucking know. Anyways, as you were saying, Cruz, before I uh derailed your train, um I'll give you a train way. <laughs> this is gonna be one hell of a podcast for y'all today. All right, yo, you just want to run it back? <laughs> <laughs> no. Speaking of uh, top ten percent and twenty three listening score, everything's relative, but it's great. It's cool. Speaking of hitting three hundred subscribers, uh, super big accomplishment for us. We really love that shit. Um, I wanted to talk about small wins. <laughs> like small No I'm just <laughs> I thought you were saying Small wiener <laughs> Stop it Cruz Stop it Stop it the n- Stop the n- it That's the name of the episode Small winners <laughs> Stop Win- small winners Winners Stop winners Winners Alright okay, that's All right, the name I'm, of the episode I'm putting that shit on the anchor. Small winners yep. Alright um, Speaking of Jacob got his first closing Ask me about my small winners. Yeah Jacob got his first yeah, closing. That's dope. Official closing. Yeah, official. The other ones were sitting, but official. Yeah, <laughs> official, like pen to paper. Uh, Check to account. I. Not yet. I, what? Really? Yeah, uh, the guy wasn't there. Uh, that's a different story. Oh, I motherfuckers. Next week, Tuesday, yeah. You better run my boy Jacob his money or we going to run up in there and show you what's up. No. Can I give you guys yeah, a yeah, fucking no, compliment no. and yeah. just keep rolling with it? I'm just playing. Go ahead, sir. No, no, no. Go I'm ahead. So, let's sorry. talk I'm about s- your bank account. I'm sorry, daddy. No, Jacob, let's talk about your bank account. <laughs> no, come on. How about, no, right, what know, about, what? How about we, wire we transfers? Apologize. Let's wire go. transfers are a son of a bitch, aren't they? <laughs> but seriously, though, wire fraud in real estate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to run it back. <laughs> no, we got this. No, I'm just kidding. Pull through. Pull small through. wins. Yeah. Small wins. Yeah. Uh-huh. These are all, all the things I named are small wins. Yes. I think it's important to take in the small wins. I think we get very, that's what I want to talk about. We get very focused on this big end result, this big goal, right? I want to hit, uh, I want to be a, a realtor and I want to make X amount of money being yeah. a realtor and I want to be like, you know what I mean? Like, we've had all these other realtors that had all this, like, huge success, right? Yeah. That's, like, the small percentile right there. But those that get there is, like, sometimes you do have to have that mindset. Ooh, first closing. Small wins. Like, that's the only way you get to two, three, four, five. You know what I mean? Like, if you're disappointed about one, you're never going to get to the, you know what I mean? Like, the, to the big one. Statistically speaking, Jacob is now officially the top 10% of realtors because they say 90% Shit. of realtors never steal a property. And you just hit the top 10%. <laughs> <laughs> no way. There has to be. I, I'm being so serious. 90% of realtors never sell a property. Well, I'm there. hopefully the other three sell. They just been sitting, but we'll see. Nah, you're, you're going to crush it, bro. It's the beginning. Those are the other three I have. That's, that's what I'm saying. You're going to yeah. crush this shit, bro. How about uh, they say people that get their MBA, there's only 10% of people that get their MBA. You're the MBA of real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Which, and also us. <laughs> Nah, but <laughs> and us hitting ten percent is funny because we're shitting on top ten percent a little bit right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, like certain amount of episodes, like, but it means something. It means there's a yeah. difference. You know what that means? Same with podcasting. Same with real estate. Is it means there's a lot of people that try it. Yeah, and just yeah. So okay. just one sale makes you top ten percent. Putting out probably sixty episodes of a podcast makes you top ten percent. Right, like. Like, there's a difference between trying and doing. Doing it, yeah. And it's funny because 
yeah, it's kind of like not hard to get into that top 10% if you think about it, but it is. The consistency. That's why it's a top 10. You know what I mean? It's it's one of those things where it's like, and that's a small win, bro. Like, I think those are things to like really appreciate. And I think it's not generally. Yeah. Right? Like, even Jacob's not like super excited about, like he is, right? But it, but like yeah. you're also saying like yeah, but like it's one sale. I, the other ones were fucking sitting. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's, it's it's true. I feel you, but it is something. Bro. You got to take it. Yeah. So many people go and get their real estate license and don't do dick with it. Yeah, it, exactly. It's just, yeah, exactly. I mean, meaning is like uh, you just can't compare because like you said before, like a lot of the realtors do get success quick. Some don't. Yeah. So it's half and half, and you know, like you can't just be hard on yourself. That's what it really is. Like for me, yeah. I honestly didn't really. You worked, bro. No, but I didn't though. At first, at first I was true. focusing on the mobile true. home. I was focusing on other outlets for for revenue, and then the last five, I would say four months. Months, I gave it my all and I got like four listings, two buyers, yep. and I got that first one sold. So it's like kind of like, but it was hard to get that win because I felt like, damn, I fucking wasted so much time. Yep. And I look at everybody else like, damn, I'm killing it this year. I ain't yep. shit. But I got to take that as, you know, like that's my win. You know, and that's what gets me the momentum that drives more wins. You feel yep. me? And you got to, like, you have to appreciate yes. those small wins. Same thing with us. Like, even though that don't mean really shit, like it doesn't do nothing for us, that little stat. It it's cool. It's an accomplishment for us. Three hundred yeah. subs Fuck don't yeah. don't get us monetized or nothing like that. But it's a nice, cool stat. That that same mindset needs to be applied in everything. Is yeah. what I'm saying. And like when it goes to working out, taking small wins. Like yo, I was oh, really yeah. about to not go, and I yeah. went. That's a fucking small win. It's important too in business, right? Like I've been a part of some things. Where if the person leading everything is so focused on the big goal and does not focus on these small wins that need to happen or or lines out the small wins but doesn't frame them as small wins, they just frame it as next, all right, like, but you missed the deadline kind of thing. Or like, you know what I mean? It's like mentally you're fucking your team or the people that need to work for you. You know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. Like, that's a that's a big thing, and I think people need small wins because some things, the things that matter the most are impossible to get done overnight or within a small time period. I want to add something to your small wins. I don't know if you want to want to derail off of my side, but, um, and I want to, I want to express how hard, it, how important it is to properly celebrate and appreciate those small yeah. wins. Yeah. Because... That's what I struggle with a lot of times is, mm-hmm. um, you know, I can do things, but for me, I'm so focused on the end result that like, as I'm pushing through it, I don't celebrate those small wins. I don't appreciate those small wins. So like my end result is focused on that. I'm like, okay, but I'm okay. That's great. I did this, but I, that's not where I want to be. I want to be over here. I want to be over here. Yeah. And I focus so much on wanting to be over here that sometimes it fucks up my motivation, my discipline, <laughs> my determination. It fucks me up to keep, to keep going. And I've learned that like, Trying to like just appreciate those small wins and appreciate the moment that you're in, yeah, is so important because sometimes we just try to focus so much on on the end game, and I feel like that can really fuck you up and derail you like the beginning of this podcast. I, yeah, a hundred percent, exactly. All right. But there is like a fine line because like kind of what you're talking about, but I know what you're saying. Like there is though when we're what we're talking about is not. Uh, love the process more than the result. No, absolutely. Right? So, like, there is, like, you know, I've seen the meme of, like, the guy that's walking to the flag walks, the, uh, the guy that's walking to walk walks further than the guy that's walking towards the destination. Yeah, that's true. Right? And it shows, like, a flag or whatever. I like that. But that's not, like, a little bit of that, but on it's, like, there are actual benchmarks or small wins that you really do. Absolutely. Right? Like, you don't need to... Um, uh, one thing is loving the process yeah. because it takes that process to get a small win. Oh, yeah. Period. Like what Jacob was doing and shit. It's like a small win is a sale. Yeah. Right. But it took a lot of that Sacrifice, process yeah. and yeah. work to even get that. And and those are the ones though where it's hard. I think maybe even loving the process instead of the result is hard. It's equally as hard is once you get that small win, you got that taste of that first result. You got yeah. that first benchmark. A lot of people, and it's natural, and I do the same thing, is focus on that next win or benchmark yeah. more so, right? So there's one thing about focusing on the result while you're in the process, and that's a thing. That's big. It's hard. And then the next thing is once you do get a small win or like a mini result, a small goal, it's like not 
like take take that in and, and feel that accomplishment because you get wear and tear after that. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Nothing, bro. <laughs> this fucking guy Jake come bro. God, just watch if you're if you're listening on Spotify, you could open the video. If not, I'm actually right now, it's minute fifteen. I'm actually gonna fucking highlight what you just did. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight. Zach it. is so mad he's gonna. Yeah, edit. Just moving a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pissed. But, no, I'm not but, pissed. You know, yeah, the wear and tear. I mean, honestly, it's how you avoid wear and tear. I feel like I, even as an employee, can feel more wear and tear when I feel it, when I feel I got small wins or little mm-hmm. benchmarks. But it's not recognized or it's not like, it's like, yeah, thanks. Here's this. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn, bro. Like, I feel like a month ago, this was the goal. And now it's not anymore. You, you know? And you're like unmotivating it. Almost. You know what's crazy, though, too? And like something I want to add to that also is that I feel like now that we're talking about small wins and like, um, and like being able to celebrate them and stuff like that, a lot of people don't have small wins because they don't create small goals. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't have an outline plan... You got to outline it a little bit. Exactly. You got to have some type of outline. Whether you do it in your head or not, but if you don't have an outline plan, how do you know what what a small win is? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you don't have a benchmark, a benchmark yeah. to, to, like... To it's true. Like, even for us, like, you talk about 300 subscribers. Maybe even right now, we didn't outline a plan. I We no. didn't, right? No. But, no. like, right now, it's all relative well, kind of we, we did. We, we've been saying, oh, we want to hit 300, we want to hit 300. So, kind of we did, but we don't we don't have, like, that, 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 that. Yeah. yeah. But that is something. Actually, we did, right? We didn't even yeah. care about 1,000. We were like, yo, if we could get just 300, 300 yeah. we're, 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 like, it's worth it. And then my, my mindset just now was just like, as soon as we were selling, I'm like, yeah, let's get to 500 now. <laughs> See? <laughs> Zach kicking in already. See? <laughs> What do we got to do? We didn't even do the shirts yet. We didn't even go to the schools yet. Like, that's we, we haven't even finished the sound pair. Yo, we've been that shit for like <laughs> a year <laughs> almost. It's just not. I'm going to put up some other shit. It's, it's over. No, nah, but we got to do the sound pairs. We really got to spend. We got we to gotta dedicate a week and we got to write down this. But those small wins are something, man. And even like when we get the cameras and shit. But and it's something with the people you're that, that are looking for your validation. That's yeah. something that to keep in mind as well, right? So even like your kid. Your husband, your wife, your employee, you know what I mean? Like, those people, mentally, you got to give them small wins. I think about it sometimes, too, even, like, uh, with my pops, right? So, like, when me and Christian deal with my pops, it's kind of different and it's hard because she has zero sympathy for him. Mm-hmm. That's not her dad. No, right? exactly. Yeah. This and that. All I know from this guy is issues. <laughs> There's, yeah. like, nothing yeah. positive that comes from this relationship. So, her sympathy is low. Yeah, me naturally, I have to have some sympathy, but she. The hard part about like dealing with him is like I gotta let him get these small wins, or else he's gonna feel like he's never gonna get to where he needs to be. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like you're talking about, you need a car, you need a job, you need your own place. So I'm gonna, and recently it's been a hard balance, right? Where I gotta still be on his ass. But I got to give you those small wins. When you get a job, I got to be like, yo, good shit, bro. Like, yeah, let's go. Like, what, oh, yeah. do, what do we need out of this? And then give them that. And then, but not be like, all right, but because like Chris Dan would be like, all right, but did you tell him like he needs to pay $400 a month? And like, <laughs> this ain't a for everything, you know? And that's the difference, bro. Yeah. Like me, like my dad saying, hey, I got a job. And me going, bet, all right, I need $400 a month, and motherfucker, this shit ain't forever. Yeah, it's fucked up. Now, <laughs> now. Do quick. But a lot of people do that. Yeah. 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 You show ain't people, that some shit, though? Yeah, you can't be like that. And and part of me does want to be like that, you know? But but part of me, and part of it's this podcast where we just talk to, like this all the time. But yeah. that shit's ingrained in the, to the point where I'm like, he needs, a, he needs a small win right now. Like, I just ripped his ass open. <laughs> <laughs> Not incest But like I just ripped him A new asshole And Some Days went by And he's Got a job Some shit Yeah I gotta be like Yo You gotta reward Good behavior And, and you know what I mean You gotta and, reinforce yeah. it yeah. yeah you gotta reinforce That shit So and that goes To a lot of things man And there's like A perfect yin and yang Perfect example With me and Christian Doing with my dad Where it's like Zero sympathy And it's It's hilarious Considering the fact That Christian's like this Sympathetic Empathetic Yeah Soul therapist, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, with like the psychology background, she's just like, you know, just like, fuck that, four hundred dollars, get the fuck out. What's up? <laughs> just total bitch. <laughs> she don't listen. It's okay, that. guys. Don't worry. No, but like, yeah, yeah that's why she didn't do social work. 
<laughs> Can you imagine some little kid It's like okay You're 16 Are you working yet yeah. Why are you helping your mom Pay the bills No so what the fuck Do you want from me She came home She's like yo This ain't for me This ain't for me This shit is not for me You're a loser You little fucking spoiled brats I was like alright cool Anyways I, I don't see why <laughs> I have no clue why No wonder why Your fucking dad Beat your ass No oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> But that is <laughs> is some of our arguments too Like there is something to that too Like uh, it's weird and it's funny Because I wonder um, For example shit on social media Right when they talk about oh they just cut this law That means all these people Are going to be without this or whatever yeah. And she cares so much about that right And I wonder if there's something too Same thing with like when you see a bum On the road or something you know like Literally it's funny like since my dad moved in You know how you get that weird Feeling when a bum is like not that you're going to give them nothing and not that you care or you might give them money or whatever. But there is like that weird moment when you I'm at a stop sign. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that, that guy's getting ready to turn around and he's about to pull the sign up. This is going to be an awkward five seconds. Right. Because you feel bad for him. I make or, eye contact. <laughs> see, but I, I, I just go see. But there was bro. I have had zero sympathy since my dad has moved in. And there is something too when Christian has those arguments with me about those those current events and shit where I kind of go like, yo. Yeah, I know. He's in the fucking room over there. <laughs> you know, like, we got to deal with what happens in life sometimes. Yeah. And there is, like, a little reduced empathy when, yeah, when I hear right. things like that. Because yeah. I'm like, yeah, tell me about it. He's, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, like, well, yeah, you know, we're, we, got our real, we got our own situation where we're going to put a motherfucker on the street. And you're for it. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> if you were the president. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying. To add to like those people that, on the, the side situation. of the streets, man. I used to back in the day used to give so much money to those fuckers. Me, I still do actually. No, I fuck that, bro. Yeah, I'm so I, much I, money. No, 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 I, no. no. I, I buy move, food and shit. After yeah. I moved to where I moved to, and I've seen those guys in the same motherfucking restaurant as me buying shot after shot after shot after shot, and just hanging out Yo. with and multiple of them that you see like and everywhere they're all hanging out together in one yeah. little area. Man, there's, there's a business to it. There's oh, bro, what I seen a I seen a news article where they where they yeah. like they researched it and they said that like the average um the average what, what do you call it? Uh, what's what's it called panhandler beggar, beggar the yeah, panhandler, panhandler the average panhandler in major cities can make up to a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, yeah, you see, like, I, I, like when I when I see them have a kid, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not that's, bullshit. That's good. It sounds fucked up. That's when I see way. them have a kid, I don't I don't believe it for shit. It'll be always some. I, I believe it's their kids. Huh? I believe it's their kids, but. I think no, it's more. I believe it's their kids, but like you're not telling me you're sitting out here right now in decent clothing with your kids panhandling. Yeah, that's the because one. you're broke as fuck. You I just don't believe up. it. I just don't. Yeah. You have a whole stroller, like you have no book bag on you. Where's you, your book bag at? You got to dress up, yo. Like, these you, panhandlers. Right? You know what's weird on OBT? Yeah, there's a mom with two kids that does very well, and I know it. Mm-hmm. And then there's fucking hookers left and right walking down the street <laughs> and there's some young beautiful hookers and i'm just like what why They're are probably you guys like what are you doing but drugs those motherfuckers make more than those girls with their titties out it's probably true man because think about it, those, those girls are what i don't know how much they are like 20 50 bucks i can't imagine more than yeah, that. zach knows they're actually like 75.99 so. 75.99 yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, like, okay on tuesdays is, is, is that your monthly charge for your massage right no no <laughs> yeah private dance those are, like are more expensive <laughs> 200 <laughs> Damn, it's, it's not worth they, it. They they get screened, right? That's why they're a little bit more pricey. Yeah. Well, I hope. <laughs> I'm just playing. At least a hooker gives services. Okay, a prostitute gives you services for your money. Okay. If True. a panhandler Val- was washing my windows, <laughs> so yo, there's you know, this, my windows yo. and shit. Like yo, Miami though, they used to hand out flowers. Like the panhandlers used to hand out flowers. I don't give a fuck. It was flowers. Yeah. And I gave him ten bucks every time I went there because I, like yo, that's dope. I used to do that stuff too, man. But I, then I saw the same lady that be asking for flowers because I drive a lot in my area. Yeah. I drive so much. I seen the same lady that that was that used to sell flowers. My I buy uh by where I live at, like twenty minutes down the road, she was over there outside with two kids. Asking for money, I'm like you, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. She working, she working multiple gigs. <laughs> Real quick, I want to talk about something to what Jacob was saying, uh, and so like, there's something called the theory of reciprocity, right? And reciprocity you know, or reciprocity, like re- re- reciprocate, it's called reciprocity. Reciprocity, right? Oh, okay. That's what it's called. Sexy, yeah. So, but the the interesting part about it is, you know how I was saying, like, there is that awkward moment when a beggar comes. Like, yeah. it, it just is. Like yeah. everybody kind of feels awkward. You I know, like, why, I like that. Like, make eye contact. You know why though? Uh, and then the next step is what you said: the beggars that are passing out roses, or the people that are at least offering something. 
And you know, like the people at the airports that that give you something, like especially like the Christian people, right? They'll give you like a note card or something, and and then like maybe ask for a donation after. At the yeah. airports, I've never seen that. They got well, anyways. At the airports, but it's all like churches, bro. churches, whatever, right? There's that. Or how about when you go to church and they do the donations, the donations. and if you don't donate, you feel bad. Like there's that feeling, like I don't. they just gave me this service, but. Okay, but yes, but there's some, a, people, some, there's people, a some people do feel yeah. bad. Like, there's some tension in you. It's not, like, nothing. Not right? me, but there's like, some people, yes. There's a little bit of, like, uh, you know, like, yeah. like oh. there is a little bit of that. <laughs> but even you feeling so confident in that stance is kind of like a rebel. Yeah. Right? I, there's something to it. And it's called the theory of reciprocity. Like, you, uh, they talk about it as, like, manipulators use this as a theory, yeah. right? And it's one of those things where... Uh, uh, like they did studies on it where uh, it was like uh, one of those back in the day where they needed donations. They they did a study on a donation, like a foundation that, that gets donations. And they put out like 500, uh, you know, requests like, hey, put your money in here. And this is goes for this or that. Then they did it again, but they gave out postage stamps with it. Like you get a stack of postage stamps and the it went up like 90 percent, the amount of return. And. Part of that theory is because because we gave you something, you felt like, well, I'm just going to, I'll get, I could put $2 in there or something because I got this, right? Yeah. And part of it is like, yeah, you're trading value kind of thing. But that's also what the theory of reciprocity feasts on. And the interesting part about it was um, like, for instance, and this is, this was a gem of the whole thing was when you do something for somebody, right? Like you do a favor for somebody. What yeah. do you say? When they're like, oh, thank you so much, bro. What do you say? My pleasure. My pleasure. Like, yeah, no problem, really whatever, right? Yeah. So that theory shows, like, it's a good thing to say when you do a favor for somebody. And it's kind of shady. It's kind of manipulative. But it's like, I know you do the same for me. And it's, it, it's like a, it, you get them in the jaws of reciprocity when you say something like that. And it seems so simple. It seems so dumb. But... Uh, they say when you say like, oh, no problem. Anytime it kind of throws that out a little bit where they kind of feel like, oh, there was nothing on you. Um, we're good. You know, but when you say like, oh, I know you do the same, bro. No problem. Not no, not no problem. But I, I know you do I the think same. So. I, I, to, I just kind of add to that kind of like might derail the conversation. But I stopped saying no problem because I had some fucking older guy spaz on me when yeah, I was a server. Can't say that shit. When I was a serving, I get the guy, whatever he paid, whatever. And then um, he was like, <clears throat> he was like, oh, thank you for the service, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, my. I was like, no problem. He looked at me and goes, no problem. Why would there be a problem? I was like, what do you, what do you mean? He goes, why would there be a problem? Yeah. I was like, oh, no, there's not a problem. So I said, no problem. He goes, but why would you give me service be a problem? And I was like. Depending on who you're talking to, yeah. Bro, I, I didn't know what to say. I was you like, suck. I was like, I lost for words. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I've never really been asked that. He goes, he goes, he goes, I always, always he's like, I always find it interesting how like the younger, he's like the younger generation. Always says no problem, Yo, but and I'm like words hmm. matter though. And like, now I always problem say problem is dialogue. something like saying problem is something on the other person's psyche. Like even they talk about communication is you're decoding what you think to words. They receive words and decode it to how yeah. they think yeah. it is and receive it. But look, words and, mean something. And since then, saying though, like, well, hold on, yeah. I just to, I, and since then I've always said my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. I, I literally trained myself to say it's my easier, pleasure, and, and that's good it's, in like customer universal. service. Yeah, yeah, it's universal. But like, let's just say you're talking about like you're doing some one offs for Ralph, you know, for for somebody or something, you know, and then it's like, yo, thanks a lot, and you know, you provided some value. Yeah, my pleasure. I know you would do the same. Oh no, I, I, that, that's something. fire. That's yo, fire, bro. Right? Like, yeah, that's that's fire. A, that was a gem to me. I was like, yo, that's really that fire. would react different. Somebody did me a favor, and they go, yo, I know you would do the same. I. Feel like I owe that person. Something. Yeah, uh, it's half and half. Like I said before, I feel like On the average, reason why we believe no, that way and we're instilled that way is because we live in a capital capitalistic world. So like we grew up on that whole capitalism shit. Like you provide a service, you get a paid for your services. Yeah. I mean that's you brought that way through There's like kindergarten all the way. Your mom goes to work, your dad goes to work. You you provide something for a payment. That's how it always been since the day you were born. You sold shoes, you resold candy bars. You did something to get money. Yep. You just never got free money just at six years old, four years old. It was either your birthday you got money or a holiday you it got It depends money. on what family you were born. But buying. I think you what know? you're speaking to maybe leads more towards we're trained to work for before we get. 
kind of thing. Yeah, but that's but why people under. That's why when you give a favor to somebody, I say if you do something for me, you I'm more like willing to give owe. you more money. I, I feel like I owe you something because yeah. you just did me a fucking favor. I yeah. feel fucked. That could you know? be like an American psyche type. Thing. Exactly. I feel like it's instilled in our culture, kind of yeah. like you know, but like it, it. It works, and it is it something, bro. And I've been kind of using it at work because I, when I learned that, I was kind of like, hmm. I'm gonna I'm I'm yeah. manipulate you, fuckers. A, and it's as simple as turning some no problems into. I know you do the same, and you're building like goodwill around you mm-hmm. a little bit. You know, it's like karma increased by one. Ding. And people feel that, Ding. don't you feel that? Like, yeah. yo, this this man did that for me. Like, we do that when they don't when they, when they don't say, "I know you do the same," and then some people don't. But maybe you get the people that might not think like that when you say, "Yo, I know you do the same for me," and then they go, "I should do the same for you," I guess, right? Like, yeah. he did this for me. I should. It puts that thought in their head. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start using yeah. this in my relationship. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Oh, can you do this for me? Yeah, yeah, of course. I know you do the same for me. I know you would do the same for me. Three days later, it's like, hey, can you do this for me? Bro, how can you say no to that? How? I'm an <laughs> asshole. So I've been like, I, know. <laughs> I, I just literally, I just ruined it for me, though, because my girl's going to listen to this in two months, and she's going to be like, December. She's probably listening to this. Yeah, because she's behind. She's, December, she's going to be like, hmm, you've been using this for the last two months. Yeah. Interesting. Enjoy and I'm, I'm going to be in trouble. Enjoy it, but you got forever because your girl don't listen. But she'll know. No, yeah. So I, I, I'm using this tomorrow, tonight. <laughs> I'm using it too. I'm gonna start watching the dishes, but uh, hey, babe, I know you do the same for me, you know. <laughs> but I, <laughs> what was that face? No, my girl, bro. She's gonna hit me with the fucking. She's gonna hit me back and be like, "Yeah, I've been doing it for you for fucking hell long. What the fuck?" <laughs> but, and she's gonna know how much of a gem it is once you use it on her before she listens. Yeah. I I think that shit works. Like I, that shit will work on me, and it cl- that's why it clicked away when I. I'll when come I back and report it. to you guys about how how our Latina replies to that. Yeah, a spicy Latina. Yeah, a hundred percent. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> 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 just, just throw it out there. I'm not even gonna try. Jacob's like, like that's stupid. <laughs> no, no, it's not stupid. It's but just why, like, to my that's girl, something that's though. Not even worth because it. because you don't think it will work for you, you don't think it works. No, 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 no. no. I I believe it works it in certain situations. Won't work. But I honestly don't believe it's gonna work between me and my girl. I mean, we're very straight vocal, very you know, like I'm the type like you tell me, oh yeah, you do the same for me. I tell you, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. For you. <laughs> I, I, and I'll say it as a joke, but depending on the situation, I could be pretty serious. I mean, yeah, don't be trying to get what? me to do the dishes, motherfucker. <laughs> what do you think you're doing here? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> What do you think you're doing here? Yeah, like so mow the grass. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, I know you do the same for me, bitch. I know she ain't gonna mow the grass ever. Like you know, like certain. Things. Okay, yeah. so you need to it's use situational, it. like, situation like on a mentor or something like that, right? When you're helping, oh, out a mentor that's good, or something, that's and you good. go, yo, no problem, man. I know you would do the same. That's for me. good, yeah, right? Like Brian, friends, or something like that. that. When, yeah. when he was hooking you up, you definitely said no problem because you were trying to be like, this is nothing for me to help you. Like, yeah. that is a genuine feeling and thought. But I know you do the same for me. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm, of course. That's where mm-hmm. I got you this thing. Oh, I'm going to keep getting you some shit. You know, it's, it, it's something. Yes, it's something. That shit, that shit blew my mind, though, a little bit. I, don't I know. like it, though. It's good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use it. It's I'm, like I'm, reverse I'm psychology that type mind. of shit. Yeah. Now I got to implement some new shit. Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. It's so hard to implement new things in your life that you're not used to. We were talking about small wins. It's similar. It, you know, nah. corresponds a little bit. That's okay. We can, we can, we can, we can topic hop, topic hop, topic hop. I don't really have Hot anything topic. else for. Uh, you don't want to add anything wins. else. We I mean, really even talk about small wins. I, I know. I, I I was hoping you guys had more. To well, I tried to add to it, then we diverted. <laughs> we diverted. totally diverted. So go, bro. But you know, not, you know, this episode is on small wins. We kind of touched on it earlier. <laughs> There's not much really else to think. I just wanted to talk about those because those are the things. That people don't fucking appreciate That we need to appreciate more It's the hardest thing And this week for us Was one of those weeks Where it's like You know what Small oh wins matter God, too Thank god that was empty I got my heart <laughs> Small wins matter too man They do I feel like Small it's so easy To be too. negative <laughs> you're, gonna get, you're gonna get canceled for that. Small, Small wins matter Small wins matter Small wins lives matter no, we either know. lost everybody <laughs> In the first seven minutes <laughs> Or lost everybody now No if you guys fuck lost everybody <laughs> now <laughs> If you guys <laughs> If you guys made it to the end 
send uh, send us a penguin emoji. So is there even it, a penguin if you emoji? Made it to this point of the episode, even though it's not long, but you guys worked to get here. Damn it, that's a small win. Send us a penguin emoji. Do they have a penguin emoji? <laughs> yes. Of course. Yeah, fucking snakes, cows. Tigers. Send us a penguin emoji, and if you can't find it, type penguin, and you might win a little prize. You might. We'll see. We'll see what our budget. Little. Fucking Daria. Every time I put a prize up there, she's eligible some one. fucking <laughs> way. First oh, you said twenty bucks. Uh, here I go. Here this is. Here that is. <laughs> I'm like this bitch would. Hey, she, she loves her small wins. She loves those twenty dollars. <laughs> they do have a penguin emoji. I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. <clears throat> just fucking, come on, man. Just put it in the DMs. Thank you for making it through. I think this was a good episode. We had a <laughs> no. two, yeah, we had some good is... bullshit banter in the beginning. It's, it's good to laugh. We yeah, had a good had a couple of content. A oh, good man. fifteen minutes of content, and then a nice five to ten minutes of bullshit after. That's all you can. ask I just for. hope you give a fuck. Shortest episode. Ever and the history. Small wins. Shortest episode. Congratulations, guys. Small wins, like our small, small wins group. with a small episode. Are you muted? No. Oh, okay. I was about to say All some right. crazy. Pocket shit. watch out, guys. Pocket watch out. Out. <laughs>